time. You know, sometimes we go through things, really bad things, you know. We go, sometimes we go through things, uh, horrible things that they, they are like shocks in our lives and we don't know how to handle them. So we get really nervous and, and we run from place to another. We don't know what to do. We go crazy, you know, with the whole situation and we don't know what to do. And sometimes uh, we cry, we shout in order for us to get heard and for people to listen to us. Shouting was never a tool for someone to be heard. And being nervous, this will cause me sickness. Now, I know when someone is uh, within the situation, they won't even think about that. But I'm not talking about the reaction. The reaction happened. Now I need to think, I need to be calm. I need to calm myself. I need to have some kind of silence. I need to think. You can never think by being nervous and frustrated and start swearing and having these bad words which will bring you bad things in your life. You know, bad words, they never bring good things in life. Shouting never gets you hurt. And by shouting, you won't be hurt when you shout, when you talk with a reasonable voice, with a calm voice, then people will start listening to you. Being frustrated, it will cause you high pressure. It will cause you diseases like diabetes or whatever. It doesn't help your goal. It doesn't help your situation to get out of it, to get out of the problem is one of the things which will make you calm is to pray. You know, God is always with us. God is always with us. It's just that we need to be with God. And sometimes these things happen uh, for you to know that there is God. Sometimes you need to surrender to things. You cannot do anything about anything. You just have to have good intention and let it go. And things will happen. Definitely things will happen. When you're calm, when you're thoughtful, by shouting, throwing things, hitting things, breaking things, and, and having this anger within you. Anger will get you more situations which will make you more angry. Frustration will have the same. These are all uh, bad emotions that you need to get rid of. I'm not talking about the reaction, the first reaction. This is something normal. We are human beings at the end of the day, but I'm talking about later when you want to get out of all this. The only way is to be calm so you can think and uh, by helping others, you know, to get out of any problem to, first, of course, you need to help yourself. And then if you can, if you can help others, then do that. It's, it's amazing because when you do the good, the good will come to you. You will feel good about yourself. You will feel good about yourself and you will feel stronger. You're achieving something, you're helping others, definitely God will help you. I see lots of videos, they're always swearing and, and you know, they're talking out of frustration and like they want to, they don't know what to do. Sometimes when you surrender, is is more than when it needs to be done. to be a witness, to witness things and to go with the flow and try to help as much as you can and to pray. Praying is, is something amazing, by the way. It really calms you down. And me as a Muslim, when I go down on the ground and kneel for God, you know, the ground, it takes, it, it sucks all the negative vibrations within my body. Even if I'm calm uh, out of, you know, uh, sadness 
you know, sad person is like down and don't want to speak and don't want to shout, just sad. This all goes when you kneel on the, on the ground. It goes away and before that, of course, when I wash with water, water takes out all uh, the negative vibrations. The same when you go to a church, it's, uh, and when you go to a church, if you're a Christian, you know, the candles around, they absorb all the negative vibrations within the place and the whole environment is peaceful. So it helps you to, to calm down. And when you feel that there is God, there is this power with you, it feels really good. But shouting is never a way of uh, making a point or proving a point. For me, I listen to the person who uh, the tone of his voice is calm. Although he has strong words, polite, rational and logic words, I listen to him more than the one who is swearing and uh, talking out of anger and frustration doesn't make sense to me, I mean, the one who's shouting. I won't even listen because it's really disturbing, you know? <laughs> being calm is being peaceful and it solves a lot of problems because you'll be able to think, you'll be able to deal with people, you'll be able to help others. So God will help you. It's, it gives always good results.